action. Alright. Hi, my name's Emma. Hi, my name is Mrs. Young. We are going to build a pinch pop monster today. Emma, what color do, or what shape do we usually start with our pinch pops? A circle. A circle. Okay, you make a circle. Maybe I'll use some water. Make it soft enough. That's a great idea. You know, I think I might get me some clay and play with you. Is that okay? Sometimes the art teacher just needs a little bit of playing time herself. All right. I'm going to make a very small pinch pot, and you're going to make a bigger one, aren't you? Yeah. Because sometimes big is good. Ew. You're welcome. That's what I got for. <laughs> you're such a big help. Yep. Pinch, pinch, pinch that clay until it's a clay pot. Pinch. Pinch, pinch that clay. It's just a lot of play. Okay, that works. Because mine's big and I'm big and it's squiggly. Yeah, yours is bigger than mine, huh? What are you going to add to your pinch pot monster? Maybe a head. A head? Okay. What shape is the head going to be? Circle. Circle. Is that Same it? Same way that we made the body. All right. Is that a two-dimensional or a three-dimensional shape? Three-dimensional. Oh, you're so smart. You got all the brains in this outfit. <laughs> I'm going to also add some spheres to my monster. That H2O does wonderful things for clay, doesn't it? Yeah. Mine's almost looking like Kermit the Frog. Whoa, look what happened to my head. Oh, wow. Oh, you got some texture on it from your cloth, didn't you? What is it supposed to be? Well, it's just a monster, but he kind of looks like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Pretty sure cool. When you set it down, it'll probably look like a two headed turtle. It might, you're right. <laughs> My head should be over here. Almost forgot what. Mine's gonna be weird with my monster. Oh, it is. I like the way you put it on the top. There we go. What do we always have to do to the clay to make sure that the it sticks. shape sticks? Water. Water. And what else? What is that S word? Scoring. Scoring. Good job. Scoring. Sometimes you need a little bit of more water. I'm going to add a tongue to mine. Are you going to make... The frog? I think I am, and I think I'm going to put a little bug on the end of his tongue like he's eating it. Do you think that would be cool? Mine kind of looks like a cave. Oh, it does look like a cave. Oh, you decided to stand it upright, didn't you?
you need to add some water to those. solid piece of clay. What do you think? You don't know? Yeah. I'm okay. just going to try to make it there. Are you going to play and then whatever happens, happens? Yeah. Oh, that's such a great artistic technique. Yeah. You don't know what artistic means? What does artistic mean? It means that you're something good at. You are good at it, aren't you? Something that you learned mm -hmm. from other people. Exactly. Like, I learned how to make stuff from you. Yeah. Since I get to work out, maybe just a little bit of water will help it. You are really good at telling when you need more water and when you don't. Don't forget to score those things. Okay. Wow. Mostly it's looking like something else. It's looking pretty cool. Are those rocks on top of your um, cave? I don't know. I'm you just know. making whatever. Are you just creating art with clay? Yeah. That's perfect. I'm making tongues. So it's probably an Oh, hi. Kind of closing. Ooh, I like it. I like those eyes of his. Looks like cheeks right here. It does look like cheeks <laughs> right there. Oh, I wonder what it's going to be. I don't know. What is it going to be? Probably Hermit the Frog, maybe? There you go. That's a good idea. Yours is looking good. Thanks. I'm going to put my name on mine, and then I'm going to watch you create. Okay. Maybe I should make a big, fat, juicy body. That's a great idea. It should be the body, and maybe I should score it with some wings. Oh, that's a good idea. Those flies always have wings. They do. And this water right here. Well, he's going to get a juicy fly for dinner, isn't he? Yep. Big and fat. Big and fat, huh? Maybe this one's going to be different, but just take a little bit of it off. Got to get it the right size, huh? Yeah. Pinch it. And just get that off a little bit. And add some water right here. Boy, that looks just like wings. Yep. And now should add the head. Okay, add the head. Is he going to sit on his tongue? Yeah. Is he? Hey, kid. Don't forget to score it. Okay. Try to remember that. Maybe I should score the wings. Those wings are different sizes and 
different stuff on them. Yeah, you're right. They're different. They got different textures and different looks. That will look good right there. Okay. Maybe add the eye. Score the tongue. Want to scratch it up a little bit before you try to put him in there? Yep. Maybe I could do it with this. I bet that would work. Oh, that's nice scoring. Maybe I should do the fork a little bit too. You could try it for sure. It would definitely give you deeper scoring, wouldn't it? Yeah. Great. There I go. Water. Get that H2O. Yeah. And smoosh him down. Smoosh. Oh, nice job. Is he done, Emma? Yep. I love him. Oh, boy, his tongue is heavy. Yeah, it's a big right. juicy fly. It's that big juicy fly. All right, I'm going to put your name on the bo bottom, Emma, and then I will put him in the kiln. Why do we put them in a kiln, Emma? I think we should. Why do we? Because uh, cause if it doesn't, the clay won't be good and it'll just fall down and stuff. So you always, always need to put it in when you're making clay and when you're done with it, you can always put it in your oven. And why you should do it is because it needs to be roasted because if it's not, then it won't work. That's right. It needs to be cooked in the kiln so it gets dry and then we can paint it, right? Yeah, and if you're asking what a kiln is, a kiln is an oven. It is an oven. That helps. That helps it dry, doesn't it? Yeah.